Welcome to a new feature release by us at Zenla. So this is social media for login, checkout and sign up using either Google, Facebook or Twitter. So this has been asked for by you instructors. So now we've implemented it. So I'm just going to take you through the process of making sure that you've got the correct blocks in there. Um, and you, you've got a choice of blocks as well that you can pick for logging via social media. Okay, so you can see here on the register, we've got the standard sign up block here. And if we go to the login, uh, you can see we have the login block and there's no social or social way of sign up or logging in. So I'm going to show you, we just need to replace these blocks inside here for the registration and login page. So I'm going to sign in and I'm just going to show you how to flip the blocks over and then you'll see what happens. I'm going to just go to the registration block now and I'm going to edit that. And now I'm on this page. I'm going to simply add a new block inside here. So we've got the sign up block here. So I'm going to go to block and there's two ways of doing it. You can search through here or you can just add a new block down here and you can start and you can type social in here and it's going to give you the social block. So you've got the sign up block here. Uh, you'll notice you have two different styles to add. So both for the login, you have this style and for the login on social media, you have this style as well. So you have these two different blocks to choose from. So it's up to you. So I'm going to use this block here. I'm just going to click in here and that's going to give me the new social media sign up block. So I can actually delete this one out. So I'm going to click delete and delete it out. And now we have our new social sign up. So I'm now going to go into the login page and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to come into here and I'm going to again type social in here. And that's going to give me the login block, which I'm going to click here. And there you can see we have the login block. So now I can take this block, delete it out. Do make sure that you save them and then we can go ahead and test. So once I've saved this out, you're going to see that you can actually log in using uh, Google, Facebook and Twitter. Or you can put your email address in and password as usual. So once you've saved these blocks out, then these will be your new blocks. So let's go and test this out. So now I'm on the sign up page. Let's use one of these social media types to log in. I'm going to use continue with Google. So I'm going to click this and it's going to connect to Google. I'm going to select an account and it's basically going to log me in. And now I am logged in. So there you can see now we are logged in using our Gmail account and it will use that password. So every time you log in, if you're registering, I can log out here. And next time I want to log in, I can go to sign in and I can continue with Google. Select an account and I'm logged in. Any courses you buy will show under that account as well. OK, so as well as register and sign in social login, we can also do social login on the checkout page. So if we have a look at a checkout page now, you're going to see our default checkout page here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add social login to this. So as a little note, um, any course you've got in that you need social login, you're going to need to change the block over. So we're going to go to learn to surf in the media, we're going to go to pages and we're going to jump down to our checkout page and go into edit. And all we need to do is swap the block over for the new social login checkout block. Here we go. I'm going to go to add new block. And I come down to and type in social and hit enter. And we're going to get the course checkout with social media block here. I'm going to click that. And then that's going to be in here. And you're going to see that we have the ability to, to have social login. So I'm going to just delete this one out and save it. Let's jump to incognito to not show myself as a logged in user. And there we go. You can see that we now have this or continue with Google, Facebook or Twitter. And that is how we can do it. So we've got social media login for register login and we can insert it on any of the checkout pages that you have inside your Zenla site. So that is social media login.